Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and what I'm playing today is Crackdown 2 on the Xbox One, originally an Xbox 360 game that is backwards compatible. And I'm probably not going to be playing it for very long after I explain what I think about this game, because, I mean, I have recently played through Crackdown 1 and Crackdown 3 to their completion. And I actually did a video originally in my thoughts on that, although I did more of a vlog style instead of doing something like this. I decided, well, you know what, we got Crackdown 2, we never played it, I recently got it free on Xbox Live, I might as well try it out since I played the other games to their completion and see what it's like. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to bother completing this game though because I have a lot of issues with this game that even are more so than I have with the original Crackdown, which, you know, I wasn't the hugest fan of, but I at least recognize for its time. That was still a fine game, you know, it's still fine for its time, it's a product of its time, is the way I like to look at it. This game, of course, I know some people that are Crackdown fans like this game more than the others in the series. I'm not really sure why. Uh, there's a lot of problems I noticed apparent right off the bat. Now, I do want to talk about a few good things, first of all. I do kind of like the aiming mechanics of this game. I like how they've changed from the first game. It seemed like it's a little more forgiving with the reticle. It's not as crazy. You have a lot better options with aiming towards body parts and things like that. So that, that's all pretty good there. And there's also a decent variety of uh, weapons. They added some stuff that was not in the first game. So that's always nice to see that kind of thing as well. But other than that, this game just has a really iffy feel. Like, first of all, Right at the beginning of the game, you'll notice how much slower it feels. Like, right now, I've got an agility level 4, which feels kind of like an agility level 2 in the first crackdown. It's just a very slow-paced game. You feel like moving through molasses at the beginning of the game. And fortunately, it only takes, like, a few orbs before you get your first upgrade. But, jeez, it doesn't just feel like a drag. And also, the graphics, I mean, how... How exactly do you have worse graphics going from one game to the next? Like, the graphics are pretty much a straight downgrade through and through. A lot worse textures. Um, you know, it, character models don't really look as good. Uh, now, that being said, there are some sections of the game where you have a lot more characters on screen. Which I'll get to in just a bit. And I guess I can see why they made some of those sacrifices, but... I think they kind of chose the wrong path with it, you know, nice it just very, it looks very Be rough vigilant. visually, even by the standards of a 2009 Xbox 360 game, which is when this game originally came out, was 2009, and by the way, it's not the same developer, it's Ruffian Games that made this one, Real Time Worlds made the first game, and then they moved on to make an even worse game, an APB, which that game is straight garbage you know and of course they uh, shut down shortly after making that game and then of course some company thought it was a brilliant idea to bring that game back APB Reloaded which is somehow still alive even though it is still quite awful this is but that's strong. enough on that subject uh, so back on Crackdown 2 on um, it just I don't know it just doesn't have a very good feel and then the developer had the brilliant idea of hey you know what let's add zombies to the mix. All those characters right there that are running at me, those are zombies of different kinds. Which you gotta recognize, yeah, 2009, zombies were kind of the end thing. Left 4 Dead just recently came out, and zombie games were kind of all the craze. And it was kind of funny in a way that Crackdown 2 was like one of the originators of that trend. Um, and it's just so weird because it doesn't make sense for this game at all. Like, the whole storyline behind the zombie apocalypse that they have going on is just nonsensical. Now, one thing that is kind of cool about it is they have a day-night cycle and things actually kind of play into it. You have your rival gang that you deal with during the daytime primarily, and then you de primarily deal with the zombies in the nighttime. So there is a kind of interesting dynamic with that. But the whole idea of the zombies and the way they're executed in the first place is just completely bonkers. It, it's stupid. It really is. I, I just don't get it. <laughs> but, uh, I guess you want to mindlessly run around and shoot at zombies, you know. 
in your crackdown gaming experience this game has that unlike the others so have have at it but uh i'm just i don't know i just don't think it really fits and i'm glad that they basically nixed that whole concept uh for crackdown 3 you know they just matter of fact crackdown 3 kind of like nix the whole storyline of the other games because it was kind of dumb like the whole twist ending of the first crackdown game was just so stupid so unbelievably stupid it was insane and i'm glad that they decided you know what yeah that's stupid let's not acknowledge it and we'll just kind of do our own Your thing a start a new canon storm, altogether it makes Brace more yourself. sense to do that but uh, anyways yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of Crackdown 2 at all. Uh, definitely the worst one of the series. Without a doubt. I mean, it just has a poor feel compared to the other games. And that's not even to say that the first game's a masterpiece by any chance. And like I said, it's a product of its time. It was good for its day. But it's aged kind of poorly. This, I, I just don't... I can't see it being good even back then. You know? And it seems like a lot of people agree, although there are some fans out there that seem to think this one's the best one. And I really want to know why you guys think that, because I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. At least we have the uh, agility orb collecting, which is always fun and addictive. Although, they had the brilliant idea of, oh, let's have agility orbs that run around and transport around the map. And you have to chase them down. That was a really dumb idea, too. Like, holy crap. But uh, it's not all bad, you know. Like I said, you've got some interesting little things like this gun turret that I can take advantage of and start blasting at the enemies. That kind of shit's pretty cool, but this game is not. <laughs> so that's all I've got really to say about Crackdown 2. I, I doubt I'm going to finish this one. I just... I, it's not really holding me, unlike the other games. You know, at least Crackdown 1, I was able to kind of, like, plod through it, you know. Like, I wasn't having the best time with it, but it was fun enough. And Crackdown 3, I actually surprisingly enjoyed that one a lot. And uh, I think it got a little bit too harsh of a rep. Obviously, the gameplay feels like a total throwback, but it's very polished and well done. So obviously, if you've never played any of these games, I recommend playing that one first. And then maybe Crackdown 1 if you enjoy that. Uh, this one you could probably bypass altogether so that's all i've really got time for uh let me know what you guys think and if you want to see something else in the future uh we're definitely going to be covering something other than xbox next time uh but till then down phoenix out